Right, good afternoon everyone and welcome to a Foy River Academy uh, Q&A session with myself, Mr. Rolls and Mr. Price. So um, we are really looking forward to everybody coming back next week um, from the 8th and uh, but obviously conscious that there's probably still lots of um, concerns, anxiousness and question, general questions about what's going to happen next week. So we've got a, um, a list of things we're going to go through, it's not in any particular order um, and then um, we'll kind of just summarise at the end. So the first thing I think we'll talk about probably is face masks because we know there's a lot of um, uh, sort of anxiety around face masks. Um, so from a government perspective, the government have clearly said to all schools that um, it's the, the uh, preference of the government that students are wearing masks in schools. And we've got to do this through till the Easter holidays, at which point they will then review that situation. Um, we're being asked to use masks in both the classrooms and communal areas, and it's where we cannot socially distance. Um, in the majority of our classroom situations, because we have you know, um, uh, at least sort of kind of 30 pupils in a classroom, it is very difficult to keep that two metre space between everybody. So we are asking um, all students to wear face masks. Now, uh, we understand that there will be some students who, uh, for a variety of reasons, cannot wear face masks. Um, and there, are, uh, there is a list of exemptions on the government website that you can have a look at to see um, how that applies. So what we'd, uh, what we'd say in all cases is if you're worried about wearing a face mask, if there is a particular reason why you can't uh, wear a face mask, you must get in contact with us before next week. Um, when you've done that, we can then address the situation and we can work with you to find a, find a good solution. Um, yes, yeah, right. um, we will have a list which we can forward to all the teachers of any exemptions um, and the CGS managers will compile that list and let them know of any problems in each of the year groups. We're also going to uh, look at a voluntary lanyard system so if your um, uh, child would like to wear a, a, a lanyard just to sort of let everybody know, let us know that they do have an exemption then we're going to be looking at a system like that but it only works if you can let us know that there's an issue um, uh, in advance. Um, but as we say, we would like all students to follow the guidance, so um, it, we are hoping that you'll all um, understand why it's really important that we wear masks in this particular situation for the next few weeks until we can um, get on to the next phase. Okay, um, so the next question we're going to look at is uniform. Um, so uh, lots of people have been asking about uniform. Um, so we've been um, relatively clear in some of the updates that we've put out there, but just to, just to be uh, absolutely clear, we are expecting all students to be in full uniform from next week. Um, there will be no PE, specific PE sessions for the first two weeks, therefore students shouldn't be in PE kit. If you've got any problems um, in terms of accessing uniform, we obviously have our secondhand swap shop. You're very welcome to ring reception, um, speak to the staff there, and they will tell you what we have on offer um, and how you can access that. Um, if you've got any other specific problems with uniform, please do let us know in advance. Otherwise, um, from next week, we'll be expecting all students to be in uniform. And obviously, where that's not the case, we will then have to kind of follow that up. So that means that we will, we will contact you. So if we come across the um, your son or daughter isn't in the correct uniform, it may be the case that we phone home um, and then we will, we will say to you what will happen next. Um, obviously we understand um, with the whole kind of economic crisis that's going alongside COVID, it is difficult times and people do uh, are under financial pressure, so we understand that. But again, please do talk to us so that we can address that. Um, okay. Arrival? Yeah, so the next on our list is arrival at school. So, um, as per normal, you'll get the bus to school. Uh, when you arrive at school, obviously we'll be expecting to see you in your face masks coming off the bus and we'll greet you and bring you off the bus just like we have been for the last sort of six months to a year. Um, when you come into school, you will go into your uh, tutor group in your year group area. So most of you will be accustomed to doing that anyway uh, when we were last back. So um, that's, that's on the first time you come into school. So on the first time you go to school, you'll be directed to your tutor room. Once, once the test has been carried out, then you will go to your normal play area. But on the first day, you go to your tutor room and you'll be greeted by your tutor. Um, and that, that's always been your first contact. So it's really good that your tutor will be there um, to welcome you and just see if you have any concerns and to help you with anything at all. So for year 11s who are coming back on Monday, um, that means you'll be going up to the science block to your tutor groups there. 
uh, for years nine and ten who are coming in as well on Tuesday, um, you'll be going up to the tower block to your specific floors. And then for uh, seven and eight arriving on Wednesday, you'll obviously be going to the village if you're year seven and into the humanities area for year eight. Um, once everybody's had their first test, then we'll be going back to a, a little bit more of normality, um, and, um, uh, but we will explain that um, when we come to that. Okay, so um, there are also um, a number of movements around the school during the day. So um, as the students will have experienced in the last, uh, the last time we came back, um, students will be expected to sort of be picked up by their uh, teachers and tutors and taken to and from lessons. So we'll be doing the same thing as we were um, uh, in the previous return back to school. Um, canteen arrangements, so um, there will be a full sort of canteen offer during the week. Um, and we will, um, all, all students will have access to a hot meal, um, but some of those timings might be slightly flexible because we obviously have to get everybody through testing before they can then mix in the canteen, but everybody will be getting access to the canteen. Uh, and by Thursday, we'll be back to a normal canteen service, which is our year seven and eights, um, and uh, going to the canteen from uh, 10.30 to 10.45, uh, first break, and then lunch is 12 to 12.30 for years nine and 10, and then um, to 145, sorry, to 215 for years uh, seven and eight. Uh, year 11 will also have access to the uh, canteen in second lunch, and we'll be explaining that to them uh, as they arrive. I think um, it's really important as well, we come on to equipment, but it's really important on the first few days, can you make sure please that um, students, your son or daughter brings a snack with them and a drink with them, just because of uh, the timings may change and we will let them eat that snack or have a drink during um, form time and during the morning they can, they can have that. So please make sure that they're adequately stocked, please. Okay, but also, you know, there is a full canteen here so we will always be able to get someone something if they really are desperate. Okay, so moving on to um, equipment, so that we are expecting um, students to arrive um, with a full set of equipment. Now, I should have said earlier, um, if you go to our website under the uniform page, um, you'll see all the sort of standard equipment we expect students to arrive with and the uniform that they're expected to, to be in. So there's a very clear list of all of that. Um, but just to recap, so um, make sure you bring your iPads, make sure they're fully charged. They must be fully charged. You are allowed to bring in some headphones. Um, the headphones will be for accessing lessons uh, during, um, obviously during the lesson, uh, during, the, during the class day, um, for accessing lessons and for listening to um, recorded lessons or any kind of uh, uh, video content. But that's all they're there for. So just during lesson time, headphones, um, which also helps them when you've got a variety of different students uh, working on different lessons. Yeah, I think if you have um, your exercise book at home, remember to bring your exercise books in. Um, staff can give you extra um, exercise books or paper, but if, you, if you've been working on Firefly, obviously over the last few weeks, bring that work in with you and you can carry on working on that as well. So it's really important you bring your exercise books and any paper or resources, try and bring a pen, a pencil, that's really important as well. Um, and obviously a face mask, you'll need that face mask for each day. Um, we will have spare masks um, available. Um, we have been sent 5,000 spare masks by the government, so uh, we're pretty stocked up, but we wouldn't, we'd prefer not to use them. Please um, bring masks, make sure you've, you've got them on the day. Um, Okay, so just moving on to lesson format, so Mr Price will probably talk us through a little bit more about the lesson format and what's going to be happening regarding your actual learning during those first two weeks. Okay, so during the first two weeks um, you will be able to access all of the remote learning, um, everything will still remain on Firefly. So the expectation is you go through all of your work on Firefly and you complete it. Whilst you're in school, obviously you have a teacher in the classroom and that teacher will be able to help you. But whilst we have our testing system in place, it may be the case that you do not go to particular option subjects, but you remain with your form group. During that time, you complete all of your lessons as you normally would do at home. And as I said, you will have specialist staff input into that. Uh, did you mention tutor time? Um, on the first day, um, so you'll be with your tutor on the first day and in terms of the tutor, the tutor will run through a programme with you and that programme really is about um, when you first arrive in school, 
thinking about um, what's happened over lockdown, um, beginning to really just ease any worries or anxieties, making sure you feel really confident to start school again, um, doing it in a really appropriate way so you're able to talk through any issues if you want to, but that will be done sensitively. You don't have to talk through those issues and maybe you don't have any, but if you do, your form tutor's there to help you and that's why you're with your form tutor on that first day. Um, in terms of the kind of programme, there will be a form tutor programme on that day. Um, for example, in 9 and 10, that programme is around careers and options. Um, and in year 11, it's about applying to college. So they're all really suitable programmes that relate to actually what you should be thinking about now you've returned to school. Brilliant, okay. Um, so moving on to um, behaviour, um, obviously we are looking forward to all the students coming back and we're sure that you're looking forward to being back with your friends, um, peers and seeing, seeing your teachers. Um, obviously we need to still be very careful about COVID. Um, we do have guidelines in place and we have to look after each other. So um, this is just really a, um, a reminder that we are expecting good behaviour in the classroom and where that behaviour um, goes against our, our behaviour policy or risks other students and staff in, in respect of COVID, then obviously we will have to take that quite seriously. So we're looking for students to be very um, well behaved and calm in the classroom so that we can uh, follow all the, all the relevant COVID guidelines that we are being asked to follow. Uh, but I'm sure that's not going to be the case. So. Um, so um, Moving on to testing, um, and I think this is something that everybody's um, got at the forefront of their minds. Um, we've got a video on the website which takes you, walks you through the process of what testing will be like. We understand that a lot of you will be anxious about that, but obviously it is um, absolutely essential that as many of us are tested as possible. All staff are being tested at home now through home kits. Um, and the key worker students that have been in school have been tested for weeks and weeks, twice a week, so and are very used to it. So watch the video, it's really helpful uh, and hopefully kind of reduces that anxiety. Um, so when you arrive on Monday, uh, on Monday, if you're in year 11, and you go to your tutor group, you'll then be brought down by tutor group to register and then you'll go through the testing process. Once you've done that and you've got your results in about 20 minutes, um, uh, as soon as all those groups have been through, then there'll be a lot more free mixing between that year group and they'll be allowed to mix outside, etc. Um, the testing process doesn't take very long um, and um, for those who've been through it, it's, it's really not that bad. Yeah, and you get used to it, don't you? You really do. Um, because it's been taking place for the last sort of six weeks, um, people, the staff involved, they're all really, really competent. Everybody's there to help you. There's, there's no issue. If there's any really issues at all, just um, when you go up to registration, just just tell the person who's registering you, and they'll be able to help you. There's no there's no worry with it at all. Um, obviously, we need um, we need parents to consent for their um, uh, children to be tested. So if you haven't done that already, and if you haven't had a phone call from the uh, year group teams to um, to remind you of that, um, please go to our website under COVID testing. You'll see that there is an online consent form that can be filled in. Um, please please do do that. It then allows us to keep everybody safe and. Um, and get as many people through the testing as possible. Um, the testing will only last for two weeks in school and then after that you'll get a home test kit um, which you'll then do at home uh, and, um, and, and that will be the way forward um, until the government says that we can stop doing that, that home testing. Okay, so that's uh, the end of our little kind of uh, Q&A session. If you've got any further questions, any other queries, or if we haven't answered things clearly, um, which might be the case, then do uh, get in touch. Um, drop us an email at inquiries at fracademy.org. Um, if you have any concerns about uh, a student, uh, their welfare, um, don't forget you can um, email us at compass at fracademy.org. Um, and also if you um, happen to have a COVID uh, situation, if you test positive, um, if one of your children tests positive, you can also let us know um, through the email covidalert at fracademy.org um, and you can send that night or day um, and over the weekends that's monitored 24-7 and that allows us to respond as quickly as possible to ensure everybody's safe. Um, so I think that's it. So from Mr Price and I, thank you very much for listening um, and if you've got any questions just do follow up with us.